The AI semiconductor market is going to grow up to over you know, $100 billion in 2026. In addition to that, you know, AI solutions itself will grow a lot too, thanks to the evolution of the AI services, such as ChatGPT, everybody knows that. So we would like to build uh, this kind of systems to have uh, opportunity for the business. A lot of people will look at Sapien and go, well, you know, you're a new player and obviously there's a giant in the market in the form of NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's your plan to take on NVIDIA? What's the strategy? Yeah, compared to the GPU, we can have a high performance so with a low cost and also low power consumption. So efficiency itself is very important for our AI accelerator. And also we have a lot of, you know, the commercial references inside the SK captive markets by reversing those opportunities, so we would like to go to the global markets. Yeah. For, and yeah, so what's AI the plan services. for that? I mean, uh, do you think you can challenge NVIDIA? Yeah, as so you can see our demonstrations. And also we have officially proved our technology's excellences in MFPERF last year. Uh, actually, we can achieve the 2.4 four times better power and uh, performance efficiencies in those, you know, the MFR benchmark. So based on those uh, results, so we can replace the uh, um, some of the AI solutions using our uh, chips and the system. And what's the product roadmap then? You told me you've got a current, you know, semiconductor on the market. You're planning to release another one soon. Uh, what's the pipeline in terms of the amount of chips you're planning to release and the technology uh, going forward. Actually, for the first version of our chip, XZ220, we were using the uh, TSMC uh, 28 nanometer technologies uh, two years ago. And uh, at that time, we would like to use our chip for the captive market. So we would like to spend uh, a little bit cost-effective solutions we would like to have. But for the business side, we would like to have a more efficient chip in this year. So it's kind of a four times better you know, performance compared to the previous version. So we use the uh, 7 nanometer technologies for the X330 that coming in uh, this year.